Hey guys, my name's Jamie, I'm the founder of Peabody, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use our brand new AI-powered, PE-specific resource generator called ChatGPE. I'm really excited about this tool. The main goal is very simple, to save you guys time, energy, and effort, and help you teach better with less work. So let's get into it. Okay, once you've logged in, this is what it looks like. So we've tried to make this as user-friendly as possible specifically for the complete beginner to AI. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to the download user guide button. We've created a little PDF that goes through exactly how to use ChatGPE in a really simple way. So it's got diagrams, it's got examples of good prompts versus bad prompts, and it's got some example prompts to help you get started, and then a summary, plan, prompt, produce. Okay, so that's your first step. Second thing you might wanna do is head over to the tutorial videos. So we've made it really specific how to create unit plans, how to create quizzes, how to create assignments. Okay, and we're gonna continue adding to this to make this as user-friendly as possible. This is ChatGPE, this is where the magic happens. So it's got four main boxes. Up the top is our description box. We have our curriculum, E-level, resource type. Now, this is the main box that you're gonna do most of the work in. These other ones here are designed to support and make sure that the resources that are produced are specific to what you need, not generic cookie cutter answers. So you're gonna start typing exactly what you want. We're gonna go create a 60 minutes lesson plan on the muscular system. Then we're gonna head down here. I'm gonna say Australian HPE curriculum. Gonna go year eight and just confirm with the lesson plan. Once you're happy with all of this, you're gonna click go. Okay, there we have it. So up the top, it'll summarize the prompt that you gave it. So here's an outline for a 60 minute lesson plan on the muscular system for year eight students. This lesson plan aligns with the Australian health and physical education curriculum. Awesome, that's a great start. So here we go, it's given us a title, it's given us objectives, materials, introduction, a main activity, muscle groups and exercises, muscle health and exercise, conclusion, reflection, assessment, homework, and references. So that's a super detailed plan, a really, really good start. So if we're happy with that, we can simply copy and paste this straight over into a Word document, and we are good to go. If we're not happy with this, we can do a couple of things. So we can very simply press go again, okay? And that's going to re-look at the prompt and tweak it and hopefully improve it as well. So let's use the same prompt and had another go at giving us what we want. So we've got a title, an objective, materials. It looks like it's actually simplified the whole lesson for us. 10 minute intro, 30 minute amount of activity, 15 minute application and a five minute conclusion. All right, again, if you're happy with that, you can copy and paste that and away you go. If we're not happy with the results we're getting, the main issue is most likely gonna be our prompts. So we can make this as specific as possible. The more detail, the better. So for example, we might have students with various needs. So we can say, cater for students with hearing impairments. Okay, we're gonna click go, and that's gonna take all of the information that we've put plus our new prompts and add it to the lesson plan. So it's catered to our needs with the materials. It suggests that we get some diagrams, textbooks, and printed handouts. And down the bottom here, it's given us a section, extension adaptation of students with hearing impairments. And it's provided four solutions that's gonna help cater to those students' specific needs. How cool is that? The very last thing I wanna show you is you may have an existing resource, so a PowerPoint, a worksheet, or a textbook. You may even purchase the PE resource pack, and you've got this and you really wanna base your lesson around this. Very simple, you're gonna add it to your prompt. Base the lesson around an existing PowerPoint that I already own. Once again, we're gonna click go. Okay, again, it's summarized our prompt for us up the top there. Okay, it's still catering for our student with hearing impairment. And now it's added a section here that's gonna use our existing PowerPoint. So there you go, that's a quick summary of how to use ChatGPE. Have a go yourself, that is the best way to learn. Once you've got the hang of it, it's gonna save you hours per year. I hope you love it, enjoy.